Hi, my name is Jeff Avery. I'm an academic advisor in the School of Computer Science in the Faculty of Math. Um, and I want to talk about course selection. This is going to be a sort of a two-topic or two-part video um, on two related topics, that, that being course selection and then course enrollment. So um, I thought it made sense to talk about course selection now because we actually just started course selection, right? We're in that, we're in that period of time. So to start with, I want to talk about what these terms actually mean. Um, so I'm going to show you how to navigate the course website and how to get information um, that I'm going to show you here today. I'm going to do everything um, as much as I can anyways in, in a web browser so you can sort of follow along if you need to. So if you go to the top level, cs.ewaterloo.ca, you can see information down the left side, current undergrads, BCS and BMath CS majors, and then CS course selection. That's where we are. Okay. So what is course selection? Well, it's the first part of the course registration process. So course registration is a little complicated for computer science, mostly because of the scale and the scope of what we're trying to cover. Um, we're a large school. We offer a lot of classes, and our classes are um, big. <laughs> They're in high demand, right? So this is what we have to go through to be able to sort of manage resources properly, get you in classrooms of the right size, and so on. So it's a four-part process, like I mentioned. Um, the first part is course selection. So about the term before you start your courses, what we ask you to do is tell us what courses you plan to take next term. All right? So right now, um, today's June 26th, course selection just started now for the fall term starting in September. Um, so you're in the process of going through this, or some people at least are in the process of going through this um, as I'm speaking. And again, you pick your courses. You go online through Quest, walk through the process there, and, and you tell us which courses you plan on taking. Um, this, this course selection period lasts for about a week. After that, the registrar's office goes away and, and looks at course selection across the university and figures out how to slot people into classrooms. Um, course selection is critical because it's the only way we have of figuring out demand. Um, if we were a regular institution, maybe, this wouldn't be so difficult. If you were, everybody was sort of taking the same courses at the same time, it would be a lot easier to plan. But with co-op and courses that are optional and electives, it becomes a really hard problem to try to figure out who's here in a given term and what courses you want. So course selection is critical. And sectioning, like I said, is where the registrar's office uses course selection information to figure out where to put you. Um, what happens after this is this idea of drop ad and course enrollment, and then courses begin at the start of the term. So um, I want to point out a couple other things here. The first is, is dates, right? So if you go to the registrar's office site, some people don't know this exists. This is actually super useful. Um, from the registrar's office phone, go to important dates on the side, and there's a calendar here that lists important dates for the entire term. Um, and this is a month by month of everything. Um, the registrar's office is responsible for many things, but um, they're also responsible for setting, for instance, deadlines for any important event across the campus. So they dictate when these things happen. They tell us when course selection happens, you know, starts and stops, when drop and drop an ad starts and stops and so on. So you can see here, again, we're in June. We're about halfway through the spring term. Here's course selection, and it runs until um, next Tuesday, okay? If you scroll forward through this, you can see that, you know, course selection finishes. Um, and then the drop ad period begins. So what's going to happen after you've done course selection and come back during drop ad, you're going to have the opportunity to change your mind, right? You say you course selected a number of courses. During the drop and ad period, you're able to go back and say, no, I, I've decided I don't want to do that, or um, I'm going to take a different course that I might not have thought of. So that's really it for course selection. It's not difficult. Um, why am I making a video on it? Because lots of people don't do it. Um, the problem is, if you don't participate in course selection, then we have no way of knowing um, if you're going to be here for classes. We didn't plan for you to take a particular class, and it means there often won't be space for you. So it's really important that you um, let us know. Tell us what's happening, okay? Um, in the next sort of video, I'm going to talk about course enrollment and drop an ad and um, the impact of not having course selected on that and the complexity that it adds to the whole process. Um, to wrap it up, though, I guess it's really just saying make sure you course select, okay? Course select over the next week. If you have questions around course selection, like you're not sure what courses to take, um, what you should be looking at, um, a couple things you can do. First of all, um, you can go to um, along the side here, there's course enrollment course sequences, um, prerequisite chains. The course sequence page is really helpful. It gives you a, a quick rundown 
of sort of the suggested core sequence for your program. You can look at what sort of the recommended path is for the core computer science courses. Um, for most students, this is sort of the order you're going to take them and the term that you're taking them. This is, should be your starting point for figuring out the courses that you want. Um, if, you know, if you are taking a slightly different order for taking things or you, you know, took fewer or more courses or whatever, um, we're certainly available to help you as well. Um, so during course selection, don't hesitate to reach out. We're more than happy to give you advice on what courses you should be taking, um, on helping you get course selected. And occasionally problems come up in course selection. That doesn't, isn't often, but occasionally things happen like um, Quest won't recognize your prerequisite or won't let you add a course for some strange reason. Email us. Email csadvisors at uwaterly.ca and we'll help you work through that um, and, and get past that. Um, and there's no error that you can get during course selection that we can't solve for you. So please don't use, you know, errors that crop up or misunderstandings or something for a reason not to do it. Um, that won't work in your favor. Just let us know and we're happy to help you work through it. Um, and uh, you should be able to do this every term. Uh, thanks. I'll follow up with another video on course enrollment and some of the complexities on doing drop in ed. Thank you.